Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make ribs in the instant pot or any pressure cooker. Ribs are ready in 30 minutes with sauce caramelized on them using just a pressure cooker. No oven or broiler needed. It really could not be easier. I'm using pork ribs. You can use beef ribs if you like. This is 2.2 pounds or one kilo. They've been sliced into single pieces. Put them in a bowl and add coarse salt, ground black pepper, garlic powder, cayenne powder, and smoked paprika. Mix well, rubbing the spices onto the meat. I'm using the Instant Pot Lux Mini. If you wanna see my full review of this mini, I'll leave a link below this video. You can use any pressure cooker for this recipe. Pour water into the pot, apple cider vinegar. Try to have the ribs stand up as much as possible. Don't stack them on top of each other in the pot. Standing them up will help them cook evenly. Put the lid on and turn to sealing. Press pressure cook or the manual button in some models and set the time to 20 minutes. With most pressure cookers, after the unit comes to full pressure, when the valve floats up, cook 20 minutes after that. It takes about 10 minutes for the valve to come up. So from start to finish, the total cooking time is 30 minutes. The time is up. We'll do a quick release. Use tongs to turn the valve to venting to release the pressure. When the float valve drops down, you can open the lid. Check a piece to make sure it's cooked. It's well cooked without the meat completely falling off the bone. If you like it extremely soft and falling off the bone, cook for 25 minutes instead of 20. Take the ribs out and set them aside. The liquid in the pot has tons of flavor. Use it to cook a one-pot meal, like rice and sausage, or in a stew. After you refrigerate it, the fat will solidify on top and you can remove it easily. This meat tastes really good on its own, so you can even serve it without sauce for those who don't like sauce. Wipe out the excess grease on the bottom of the pot. Of course, for those who like sauce, use a bottled barbecue sauce or homemade and put a little bit all over the ribs. If you want to try out my homemade barbecue sauce recipe, I'll put a link below this video. To caramelize sauce on the ribs, turn the pot on to saute, pour some sauce in the pot, Coat the ribs in the sauce and cook for two or three minutes until the sauce is bubbling and sticks to the ribs. Turn the cooker off if the sauce starts to stick to the pot. It happens very quickly, so make sure you watch the pot. You could leave them saucy like this or a little more caramelized like this if you cook it longer. The ribs taste delicious. The meat comes off the bone easily, but isn't overcooked. Since the ribs are ready in 30 minutes, you can even make them on a weeknight. I do hope you give this easy recipe a try and let me know how you like it. Share this video and subscribe for more recipes. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.